Dowdikin, and I'm a social studies teacher at Glenpool High School, and I'm also a master teacher for OERB. And today's lesson is the art of social studies. And this is part one, and it is brought to you by the people of Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Now, what this lesson is about is an incredible opportunity uh, to take our students to different levels of knowledge. We'll start off at a very basic level of knowledge, but then it'll go up to a personalized level, and then we'll be able to get them to a point where they're able to tell stories through their actions. Now, even though it's called the art of social studies, their artistic ability as students, and my artistic ability, as you're going to see in a moment, have zero to do with anything. It's all about what we know and how we can take it to a different point and be able to explain that point to others. So I'm thrilled to do this. I'm thrilled to be able to be here. So here's what we're going to look at. As you notice on the page, up at the top it would say personal geography. So on the left, what I would discuss or write down here is expansion. Expansion is one of our uh, standards that we have for the state of Oklahoma in social studies. And this is all throughout. And I will tell you, this lesson can be used from grade school to high school. Now, if we look at this, what we're going to deal with today is a very famous painting. This painting was done by John Gast. And we would list the details of the painting. So that's our first level of knowledge. So what we're looking at here, you have Manifest Destiny, but the real title was American Progress. It was painted in 1872 by this gentleman named John Gast. Now, those are at the level of just knowledge things, knowledge points that we'll look at. But let's get deeper. So what we would know is that this is a painting of the U.S. growing older and moving moving from the East Coast all the way over to the West Coast. So what happens is, another thing that we looked at and we could see, is that it is a modernization of the New West. So as we go through, I want you to understand this. This lesson for personal geography can be used in any one of the social studies areas. I have done this for amendments to the Constitution. I have done this for movies, for video clips. I've done this for pictures, as we're doing here. And we've used this for part one. This is a daily exercise that allows our students to gain a greater knowledge. Now, some things going into this. As I start to draw, what you would do is you see that the paper is also divided into half that you have. Now, as I draw, it's very important you understand. Your artistic ability means nothing. It's the ability to draw and show and tell what you're drawing. So, for this, if you look at the top, there's an angelic figure. So this is literally what I would do in class. And the kids all laugh and they would say, wow, that a great angel. But the fact is, is a lot of students, that eases them into the ability to do it. Stick figures are fantastic. You will be amazed at the great stick figure drawings that you're going to get. Now, the other things they'll show. Um, you see on this particular photo, you have railroads. Check out that amazing railroad. And as it goes across... Because we're talking about the U.S. growing older and moving and the modernization. Now, another thing that you'll have, and this is where you'll see pictures of the farmers moving out. Give the guy a shovel there. What an amazing shovel. And we always put a little smile on his face. And then you also have people moving away. Now, one of the deeper knowledge levels that a lot of my students um, might get and might understand is this, is that they'll notice on the painting that from the east it's light and from the west it's dark. So Americans, as they are traveling from east to west, they start to spread the light of God as Manifest Destiny talks about, 
spreading the light across a continent. And you also have in here, you would have Native Americans. And the Native Americans are going away from, from the uh, white man. And they're going towards the darkness. So you learn more and more um, through this particular painting. And it's something that as they go to the dark, the white man is spreading this light. So then we relate it to our students' life. And we talk about this. We talk about, okay, growing older and moving. So I will always lead the way for our students. And you as teachers do this as well because it's fun. So we talk about what is, when you come home from the hospital, what is the first place that you're going to be living in? Uh, oftentimes, they're put in a crib. And as you can see, I could definitely not draw a crib either. So we would talk about a crib. Then we would talk about, okay, let's say you get older and you can start walking and stuff. Where are you then allowed to go? Well, we talk about their house. And then what they would do is they would talk about first the backyard. And then the front. So... They're limited as young people, just like America as an infant nation was limited to the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Then as it gets older, it starts to expand inward to the colonies, the first uh, areas along the, uh, along the coast. Then as they start to grow older, they start to expand. So I talk to the kids and the students or the students about getting their bikes. Sadly, a lot of them don't remember or don't, didn't have the opportunity to ride their bikes everywhere. I am old enough where I rode my bike everywhere. And a lot of you can relate to that. Now, the last part of this is, and oh, I forgot to draw a bike for you. My bikes are amazing. So anyway, kids see you doing this stuff and it puts them at ease. So we have the bike and then finally... Their first car. I teach juniors and seniors. My kids, my students, talk about the cars. My first car, a 1978 Chrysler Cordoba, and it was amazing. I drove that thing everywhere. So what we have is we have a situation where we've taken one of the standards of U.S. history, and we've taken that standard, and we've taken parts of it, and we've applied it to our students' lives. And what they in turn have done is they are in a situation where they can relate to these things. But that would be the second level. The third level is to get them with a friend or a partner or you as the teacher to have them explain it and have them match up. How does this relate your life relate to manifest destiny or expansionism. And the beautiful thing about that is when we do that as educators, they're going to always remember that. And they're going to remember the details of that. And it's, and it's such an honor to be able to talk to them about it and for them to hear them talk to their friends about the drawings and their stories. And what it does is it opens up your classes. It opens up your classroom. So it's something that you can do. Now, here's what I, I want to do for you all. I want to challenge you all to do this. Um, teachers, you go through and fill out the first form. You can make up any historical event. You can pick anything you want. I've done, like I said, I have done so many different things from constitutional amendments to everything under the sun. And I want you to take a photo of you doing this, and this is your challenge, and send it to teachers at oerb.com. And the challenge is that you can also take a photo and tag it on Facebook or Instagram and send it to at oerb okay. You'll be eligible for um, prizes. Now, if you have any comments, questions about this, please contact me through our OERB homeroom, and I would love to hear your input on it, because I learn more from you all uh, every time I share these lessons. I also invite you to come back and see part two of 
the art of social studies. And we'll have a great day. Thank you.